Hey everybody, we're going to cover uh, another potential loss here. When I bought this house, there's a creek running under it. You know, I mean, what's the worst that can happen with a creek running under a house? You know, this is like 10 years ago and I just bought whatever I could. But let's go look at our potential problem here. Watch the step. Yeah, there's a lot of, may or may not be snakes in here either. I don't know if I mentioned that. All right, so this was built like 50, 60 years ago. Let's see if we can get this landing. Yeah, I don't know how you do this. All right, I don't think the beams are dangerous. Watch the step and we'll try to get wet. There's a couple of rocks in here. Oh, yeah, that's why it's pretty dark. Oh, fire. All right. It's really hard to see. I don't know how far down you can see. Let's get a closer look. Ooh, this is smoking like crazy. That's better. Get a closer look in here. I'm going to leave my glasses right there. Oh, God. There's no black lid in here. Are you getting all this? All right, so now we're directly underneath the house. Uh, oh, God. What is this? Here's my first joint here. Let me put in. Looks like it's holding up pretty good. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's holding up pretty good. Uh, 20 more feet to go, and we'll be directly under the main part of the house where we have our potential loss, our potential problem. Okay. Really going past this any further would be unsafe. I don't know how much you can be able to see in that, bro. But, hard to tell, but right down here you got a major cave in going on. See all this stuff down here. We got some elephant jacks holding sideways. See how the wall on the left is coming in? <sighs> so if this caves in, if this caves in like uh, while the tenants are there and they fall in, that's definitely some liability issues there. I'm not sure, you know, how good our attorney is, but I do know that these people do have renter's insurance, which will actually cover any liabilities uh, I'm not clear on that, but it's daggum better than not having it at all when you've got a creek going on there to house. So get renter's insurance today and you won't have to deal with crap like this. Now I can't see. <laughs> so this is 20 feet long here to this first joint. We we'll put all this stuff in, man, for less than five grand. What a deal. Oh, my goodness. So here's our first joint. I think I see the end of the tunnel up there. I, uh, oh, it hurts. All right. Yeah, I see the caveman up ahead. Yeah. All right. Twenty more feet to go. We'll be directly under the main part of the house. Where we have our potential loss, our potential problems. Okay. Really going past this and any further would be unsafe. I don't know how much you can be able to see of that, bro. But it's hard to tell, but right down here you got a major cave in going on. See all this stuff down here. We got some elephant jacks holding sideways. See how the wall on the left is coming in? <sighs> So if this caves in, if this caves in like uh, while the tenants are there and they fall in, that's definitely some liability issues there. I'm not sure, you know, how good our attorney is, but I do know that these people do have renter's insurance, which will actually cover any liabilities. Uh, I'm not clear on that, but it's daggum better than not having it at all when you've got a creek going on there to house.
So get renter's insurance today. You won't have to deal with crap like this. Now I can't see. 